What's up everyone? Doing a little comparison contrast today. We got old school, super old school, 2022. This one, we're doing the Chrome Mega Box versus Bowman Baseball Mega Box. Let's get these both open, get the packs out, get going. 120 on this one. This one, extremely odd when I first got my hands on it. So I'm curious to see what's going to be going on in that one's a little odd i don't know i don't know we're we're gonna find out here shortly so you know what this is the 2022 chrome four base packs and your two mojo packs same with this one i just want to keep this one on camera though because i i don't know i'm a little I'm curious about what's in here Okay, different, interesting. Okay, yeah, I can tell why. All right, these are supposed to have 10 cards per pack. I'll count these up at the end, but I can tell there aren't 10, so that explains it. I was just hoping the Mojo packs were in there. That's what I care about, obviously. All right, we'll go ahead and do Chrome first, and then we'll do the recap compare at the end, contrast. Five cards per pack on these, obviously, chrome-based. Vilad Rookie. Just the light here. CJ Abrams Rookie. Centering was the problem. That's why I think most people stayed away from that product. I only ended up getting, I believe, five of the Mega Boxes. I've got that one there plus one more previously opened three best hit i had out of there was a james wood mojo auto and i don't know if we're going to have a hit out of this box can't say for sure o'neill cruz rookie again appears to be way off centered over here ronzi Contreras, good pitcher Bottom heavy. Luis Moiran. So Brian De La Cruz. So there we go. You see a little bit better centering on that. Lindor and Turner. Grab the O'Neill Cruz rookie and I'll show you kind of side by side. If you're ever looking at singles of this stuff, you probably aren't anymore. You see the border there. It's subtle, right? But you can see a little bit thicker there. What about maybe 50, 60% thicker on that border of the De La Cruz, which gives it the centering that you're looking for. If you're thinking about grading chrome base cards in this economy, I don't know if you want to be doing that. The way the hobby's going right now, just what I've seen. Unless you have something numbered and you know, colored, obviously, Kirby Rookie, then or some kind of insert, then it, you probably don't want to be paying 10 15 20 dollars to grade it so those are your chromes nothing good going on there go ahead and get into these mojo packs hmm. Hmm. let's try this one first had all kinds of centering issues with these that i had opened before vasquez you can see top heavy ah oh, we actually got a redemption holy sh joey weimer again a little bottom heavy same with the vasquez ricardo cabrera see they're just all over the map they just can't figure if they're coming or going nick york at least the redemption <laughs> you won't have to worry about that redemptions 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 you know you know i gotta save that till the very end i, I gotta i gotta save it sorry to do you guys like that uh is that a purple yeah, we got a purple first in here. Wow. A redemption and a purple first. Williams, Ramos again. Bottom heavy. The purple actually looks like it might be okay centering wise. Acosta, or top heavy. Like I said, they just they just cannot figure it out. Campos, side heavy. <laughs> All right, we're having some fun with it. Good thing I opened that and didn't just let it sit for years, right? Okay, so let's get into the 2022 Bowman. The base packs real quick base packs here you've got rookies some chrome stuff like that oh 
is, uh, you know, you know that by now. Paper, first in prospects, you got Vivas and Preciado. Minier, you got Sagasti, looks pretty well centered. Pineda, all right, pack number two. That's what I think you'd like about how they do it with Bowman baseball, is you can get the chromes, the prospects, maybe even some colored actions, some rookies in there. So you get a mix of everything. Veerling rookie, uh, Freilich, uh, Vargas first, got a Mead first, Dominguez, our chromes, Leonard, and Justice Thompson, who's awful. Okay, now remember, this is it here. This one for sure. Maybe we should save that one for last. This one might be okay. Manning, Welker rookies. Got an Alasco first and a Brady Allen first. Our Chrome cards. All right, here we go. <laughs> Remember, there's supposed to be 10. One, two, three, four, eh, five cards. No prospects or no Chromes. At least they were almost all rookies though. Hmm, let's try this one first. Can we get any color here? Might be hard to top what's going to come out of there. Okay, no color in this one. Serta. Colson, definitely take that one. Sheets, Quintero, and Polanco. Ah, got a Sagasti Mojo. And no color here. Marte. Bailey. First, Braves. Waddell? Yep. Close it out with a Brady Allen. All right, let's get into the good stuff. Oh, I'm so nervous here. So nervous. First, oh, I saw the hair already. You saw the hair. Acuna. Purple. That's to 250. Nice. Centering a little bit thick on the bottom, though. Still, definitely take that. I think so far that would probably be our best hit asterisk. Redemption time. Congratulations. An orange auto. Mojo Refractor Parallel. Khalil Watson. That would have been a lot better if it were in this series. And if you didn't have the issues he's had. Khalil Watson. Orange Mojo Refractor Parallel. The oranges are to 25. Wow. I had, okay. I will take that. <laughs> and hopefully with the... Why am I... Why am I sleeving? Why am I sleeving that? You'll certainly take an auto parallel as a redemption. Hopefully it's in better shape than what you see out of here. Let me come with a quick recap, compare one versus the other. I think we know who won though. All right, recap time, everybody. Like I said, I think there's a clear winner. I actually had six cards up on the stand from the 2022 Mega Box. Curtis Mead first, paper of course, paper wander rookie, Sagasti Chrome and Mojo that actually looked to be centered pretty well. Waddell, Mojo, and then our best hit out of the box, Colson Montgomery, Mojo. I remember back when those first hit, and I was talking about this in another video, I was paying six, seven dollars for those. And now at this point, like I said, fast forward four or five, six months later, supply and demand being what it is, you can probably pick up a PSA 10 of that Colson Mojo for 30, 35 dollars. So that's what I was talking about in that other video. Chrome's here. Trout, a lot of times in the beginning, you know how it is. People kind of rush in and people never seem to learn. I want to know who these guys are that never seem to learn and they buy the stuff for a super high price in the beginning instead of waiting a month or two. We're talking about for singles and graded cards, for instance, rookies, Contreras, De La Cruz, O'Neill Cruz, and C.J. Abrams. All of those cards looked really terribly centered, except the Brian De La Cruz, which I showed earlier in the video. Two best hits of the box. It's Brian Acuna, purple with the blue hair. Not a not a hair color match. The blue would have been a hair color match to 250 on that mojo. And the Khalil Watson orange to 25. Remember, this is Bowman Chrome. There's only one of those listed on eBay. It's at 199 or best offer right now. There's been no action. The last action was way back in February, only about 30 or 40 bucks for a base a Mojo Auto. So you figure 100 bucks maybe, but I think given Khalil Watson's situation last year, 
and that he's just getting back into the swing of things. I think to sell him now is probably selling low. Doesn't mean he can't go lower, of course, but if he has a good season, then this may be a good hold. So this redemption, it doesn't expire till pretty much the end of 2024. So I'm going to sit on it and then see how he does. Or maybe list it at that same 199 like the one I see on eBay. See if there's any action at that price. But if not, just sit on it and wait and see how he does. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Take care.